Visit nascar.com slash tickets to purchase tickets and make new NASCAR memories at places like this. The reason for the stoppage in this one, folks, is Boris said making his final Monster Energy Cup Series appearance after some 31 years of racing. This is what happened to Boris in the inner loop. Yeah, it just looks like he overcooks the entry. Couldn't commit to that first right-hand turn. The back was moving around a little bit. Perhaps the wheel hop or just a loose condition has to abort, go straight, and heavy damage to the nose of that 33 from going through the grass area. Yeah, and I think that's, you know, that's a little bit of a inexperience with this splitter. If for guys that race every week and you get in trouble, you're better off spinning in practice, right? You're better off, you know, veering away and spinning rather than running through the grass. We've seen how much damage had been done by the grass with splitters, and, you know, sometimes you get in trouble. He bailed out to the left, right? Because how he doesn't race these cars every week. He doesn't really know that it's going to tear the splitter off. So I think Parker, a guy with a lot of experience, maybe he just spins the car. Maybe he just turns left and goes straight through the inner loop, doesn't try to make it, understanding that the splitter is going to get ripped off that car. Exactly, Jeff. You would want to just go to that runoff you have there in the inner loop. That's what it's there for. You overcook the brakes. You just decide, you know what, I'm not going to make the corner. No reason to go through the grass because the splitter can catch the front end and do what it did there. And then you come to a full stop. I saw a couple cars do it last practice. And then you wait for that one to go by and accelerate and continue on your way. And that's why that's there and why the drivers are able to push it so far into that braking zone is because you have that available runoff. So uh, maybe just as you said, a, a bad choice there in terms of maybe not bailing out of the corner quick enough. Yeah, it's easy for us to say, right, Parker? I mean, yeah, exactly. You know, it's, it's, you know, when things happen so quickly, you know, it, it, those things you build off of experience. And without his ability, you know, his opportunity to have the experience of these splitters, the decision-making he made was different than somebody that had, you know, 100 races with these splitters. Here's a snapshot of Morris's accomplishments. And as we mentioned, 31 years of racing. You know, there was a, a famous sports car team owner, Tom Milner, and Tom said, this kid was sleeping in his pickup truck, and he said, all I could see were these giant feet out the door, out the window, and he was just there hanging out uh, outside of PTG, and he said, I, I, I just had to bug him until he gave me a ride. That's how it determined. That's how it all started out some 31 years ago for Boris said, and he's done many cup, Xfinity races, sports car races. He's done it all. Kel?